Germany will supply its Leopard 2 tanks to Ukraine. It announced on Wednesday after coming misgivings about sending heavy weaponry that Kyiv sees as crucial to defeat the Russian invasion. But Moscow cast as a needless provocation. According to Chancellor Scholz's statement, the goal is to quickly establish two battalions armed with Leopard 2 tanks for Ukraine. Germany would, in a first step, provide 14 Leopard 2 tanks from military stocks. Training of Ukrainian troops in Germany will begin soon, and Germany will also provide logistics and ammunition. Moreover, Germany will issue the appropriate transfer permits to partner countries that want to quickly deliver Leopard 2 tanks from their stocks to Ukraine. Pressure has been building for weeks on German Chancellor Olaf Scholz's government to send the tanks and allow other NATO allies to do the same ahead of expected spring offensive by both sides that could help turn the tide of the war. Scholz's government had stalled the decision, wary of moves that could prompt Russia to escalate or suck the NATO alliance into becoming party to the conflict. Germany's decision paves the way for other countries such as Poland, Spain and Norway to supply their stocks of Leopard tanks to Ukraine. The Polish government has officially applied for permission from Germany to supply Ukraine with company of Leopard 2 tanks. Poland's government had repeatedly made clear that it was determined to reinforce Ukraine with the tanks it urgently needs, with or without Germany's permission. Polish officials had been left uh, disappointed by the outcome of the meeting of the Ukraine contact groups at the U.S. Rammstein Air Base on Friday. Germany's government had still not made the decision about supplying the tanks to Ukraine, but Polish President Andrzej Duda and Prime Minister Mateusz Morawiecki had made it clear that they would not be dissuaded by Germany's hesitancy. Ukraine and Europe will win this war with or without Germany, Morawiecki told the Polish press agency over the weekend that recalled a previous statement by Duda, who has said in October that Poland will stand with Ukraine, no ifs or buts. That's our reason of state. Wednesday morning, Polish Prime Minister Mateusz Morawiecki wrote on Twitter, Thank you, Bundeskanzler Olaf Scholz. The decision to send Leopards to Ukraine is a big step towards stopping Russia. Together, we're stronger. British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak said the right decision by NATO allies and friends to send the main battle tanks to Ukraine. Alongside Challenger 2s, they will strengthen Ukraine's defensive firepower. Together, we are accelerating our efforts to ensure Ukraine wins this war and secures a lasting peace. Latvian Foreign Minister Edgar Rinkiewicz said, I welcome the decision of the German government to send Leopard 2 tanks to Ukraine and allow other countries to act similarly. Tanke Shen. The Kremlin reacted by posting threats that any Abrams battle tanks supplied to Ukraine by the United States would burn, dismissing the expected delivery as an expensive folly. U.S. officials said that Washington was poised to send dozens of M1 Abrams battle tanks to Ukraine, reversing its previous position. The report comes after Germany looked set to send its Leopard 2 tanks to Ukraine after initially resisting the request.